Karen Bouchard with Illumify Media, and I want to welcome author Anne Marquard. Anne is a middle school science teacher who is passionate about incorporating the arts and character education into all of her curriculum. And she is the author of a fabulous book. I love the story. I love the images. Um, and I love the message of this story. So Anne, I want to know, where did the idea for this book come from? Well, I'm not sure if you have a household robot, but uh, meet Hyperion, the star of my books. And um, as being a science teacher teaching robotics, to have my own very own robot in the house was amazing. And I soon discovered that they have personalities and they have mnemonics that I can tell when they're happy and when they're sad. So we actually named them. And all my friends in the neighborhood who have these, they all have their own personalities and they all have their own names. So I was inspired by the fact that we all made them part of our family. And they were an element um, and they got into trouble and they had adventures of their own. So I, I was inspired by my own robot. I love it. Now, this is part of a book series. So tell me a little bit about the age that you're writing to and also a little bit about the series. All right. So um, this is geared for the four to seven year old. On the outside is all fun and fantasy, but on the inside, there's deep character education. So the series is not just about Hyperion. Um, it's uh, also about book two, which is um, the introduction of DD3. He is a dish and dust drone, and he is so efficient. Poor Hyperion, who's grounded the floor, is jealous about all of his programming that Hyperion can never do and never will. We also have um, another drone. She's a nanny drone who uh, comes and takes care of the children, and she's very beautiful and lifelike. She's still a robot. And Hyperion later falls in love with her. So <laughs> through the whole series, Ricky is, is, is a powerful character. And the cat, of course, is always doing his antics. Um, and deep embedded in all, the, um, in all the books are character education development. Some of them, the themes are highlighted in a video. And I want to show the video. Let's let everybody to take a look at these amazing themes. And they'll get a chance to see some of the just really fun artwork that is in the book as well. When a little cleaning robot comes to live in a new home, he tries to do his very best, but he gets into some big trouble. He learns he might get sent back, but the little robot forms a special bond with a boy who likes him just the way he is. The messy robot and the sneaky cat Coming soon to bookstores everywhere. I love that Hyperion thinks he should be perfect and yet feels horrible when he's not. Now, is this something that, as, as a teacher, is this something that you see kids struggling with? Well, I, I think it's important that kids know that it's important to work hard and do your best. And it's all about progress, progress over perfection. And so you just need to roll with your mistakes. And it's possible to be imperfect and still be loved. And then you're also doing visits to schools and libraries and your available bookstores. And so if someone wanted to have you come and speak to their group or to a group of kids, um, they would contact you via your website, correct? Yes. And we also have, um, when I do school visits, Hyperion has a bad habit of liking donuts. That's one of his little, anyway, so we do drawings on our website for classroom donut parties just because we want to honor Hyperion's little, his little character flaw. So kids might be able to have a donut party as part of the fun celebration of Hyperion and all his imperfections. Well, Hyperion and I both have a donut flaw. So. Oh. <laughs> that's perfect. Oh, that's so much fun. Well, Anne, thank you so much for coming and talking about your book. And I'm excited about it. And uh, just the difference that it's going to make for kids. It's entertaining. It, it helps them fall in love with books. And then there's a message, a message as well. So thank you so much for coming and sharing your story with me. Thank you for your time and your interest. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Let's take a look.